Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing Weekly Contest 305 Cube 3 Explanation. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about if there's any rad petition for this array. Um, so this one, there are a couple ways you can do it. I think uh, I think for me, to be honest, I maybe I need to practice bottom-up program, uh, bottom up dynamic programming a little bit more. Um, I knew how to do this in uh, bottoms-up dynamic programming, but I didn't do it this way. Um, and I kind of took a risk with respect to time you know, timing out and stuff like that. Uh, and definitely something that I would recommend. And also there's a weirdness here is that this is way similar to Q4. But, but the way that I did it is with tabs down because I that's how you should do my tutor, uh, my daily tutorial and, and stuff like this, uh, daily problems. Um, and yeah, and that's basically the idea is that basically we're looking at to see if, if the suffix is good, right? So, and I'm not going to go over mem caching for this particular problem. Um, definitely, if you were curious about this, look it up. Uh, just read up on uh, on functools.cache or something like this, I think. Um, so definitely just Google about it. But the idea is that uh, for memorization and dynamic programming in general, is that if you're given the same input and you're given the same and you get the same output every time, then you could cache it. And here, the function poorly named good is that basically um, is Oops, is there a valid partitioning uh, starting uh, with the suffix starting with index index, right? And that's basically the, the dynamic programming problem that I'm asking here. And here, if, in, if we reach to the last node, then we return true. Otherwise, we go, okay, can we yeet, uh, yeet up like Pac-Man style two characters at a time with their equal that's one of the you know that that's three of the um you know that's one of the that's the first uh uh partition and then the second one is you know these are just the part implementation of the partition and that's pretty much it right so you go okay maybe the second one um if they're all equal then you could go three uh three indexes ahead or if it's increasing then you could also go three indexes ahead as well. Um, if And if any of these are true, then you go true. Otherwise, it's false. And that's pretty much it. This is going to be linear time, linear space, um, because for, uh, okay, because for index, it can only go from zero to n, right? So the number of inputs is n, uh, roughly speaking, I guess it's n plus one, but you know what I mean. And each input does four or five operations or something like this, you know, just all of one operations. So so total time is O of n. And similarly, because each input takes one of time space, the total space is also O of n. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Hit, uh, and you could watch me solve it live in the contest now. <laughs> <sighs> One of them, okay. Three elements, three consecutive elements. Okay. A consecutive increasing only, okay.
Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about these poems, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.